Welcome. Today we're going to talk about iPad RSS feed. I guess the one I like, uh, one I love for reading, and the one I don't love for a number of other reasons, of which we'll talk about. And that one is unread. So let's dive in and look at what it looks like on the iPad a little bit, and you know some of how I use it. So this is unread. We're actually in one view already, so you can set up multiple accounts in it, right? And there's the number of accounts that you can use. I use Feed Wrangler, so that's what's set up on mine. I've never tried any other ones. I got no opinion on them. Um, and then we have some of our settings here where we can change how we mark on red, how we do scroll, how we hide items, stuff like that. And just some of the other interface options that you like or what you don't like. Um, I have thumbnails set up on my iPad. I don't have them set up on my phone. Just doesn't feel great. Uh, and then what do different taps do, different font sizes, and all those little things that you can do. So what I love about Unread is the, there we go, more of a feed wrangler, is the reading experience. As I look at this, teenage dolphins get high on pufferfish toxin. Great, um, from cockkey.org. What I love is the reading experience, is the fonts in here, the way everything's spaced out, just feels excellent. I love it in that respect. Now, what I don't love is that there is no keyboard navigation whatsoever. So I'm gonna hold Command for the iPad, which should bring up keyboard commands, and you're gonna see nothing happen because there are none. There's no keyboard navigation whatsoever in this, which is frustrating. Uh, no, there's lots of gestures, right? I'm going to double tap on what's something I'm not going to read. So I'm probably not going to read about this trade deal. So I double tap, we read. Perfect. If I double tap again, now it's not read. Um, so I'm going to double tap because I don't want that. And I love some of the gestures, right? I can go gesture over to the side and we can mark all red. We can refresh. We can change how they set up. We can change the theme. I'm going to do none of those. Going back that way brings us back to the main view. So even going into an article, let's look at this. Another one from Kotki on ice fishers. So so this is some guy who looks kind of cold inside a bag, ice fishing, great. Um, there are more gestures here, right? If I pull off the side again, then I can go to readability. I love readability view on things because all those people who like only give you a partial RSS feed want a pain in the butt. Like just give me the whole thing, people. Uh, and so I just hit readability and I'm good to go. And then share, I have a more standard share sheet. What I like about this is it has two copies. It's got copy, you can see right there on the left side. It actually copies what is a like a title and a, like the first sentence or like the summary, the excerpt um, from the post and the link to it all in one shot. So if I want to share something quick, I can just grab that, share it out and be good to go. Or it just copies the link is the other one. And I generally copy link. That's the one I want. Um, well, it took me a little while to find just because of how it's, my share sheet was set up. It took me a while to find there was a copy link. I was actually copying and then deleting a whole bunch of stuff to start, which was no good. Then we can star it or we can view it on the web. Again, change themes at the bottom. So that's great. Um, and it's just excellent, right? If we scroll down, there's a pictures of ice fishers, which looks cold, right? I'm gonna jump to the next one. So this is Brian Tracy's, great. Uh, again, there's no keyboard commands in this. There's not even like arrows do nothing. There's no navigation on this. So that's one of the sucky parts about it. I don't love that. So that's unread for us. And those are the things I, or one of the things I don't like. The other thing I don't like, if you look here, like I'm gonna scroll, you can see all my feeds there, but how do I add a feed to this? You don't actually. There is no way to control what articles are in unread and what articles are out of unread, which leaves me with my other one, reader. So this is where I actually go in and I'll use this to, you know, manage to add an article or something, right? I would add a feed or I can, if I hold that, I can unsubscribe from Errol Balkan's feed, but I don't want to because I like it. And so the thing in here though, is that I don't love the reading experience as much. The type feels a lot smaller. And I know that here I could probably fix this. I could probably change it. But what I do have here is if I hold command, I have some keyboard commands. Look at those. Those are excellent. So I am iPad first. And you may say, oh, but you have all these keyboard commands on, um, on Mac and Reader, right? Or in Reader, why don't you just use that? And it's really just the reading experience that I don't love. I don't love the reading experience. And Unread has become easily the... Uh, reading experience that I just push everything by like how much like what else or not what else um this is the thing that I really bet everything by when I started looking at this and how nice it was and just how clean everything felt and even how nice it felt in my hand when I'm using my pen in my hand which is actually not a lot of the time um it felt so nice to do that and it felt so easy to read that I started looking at pocket cast or not pocket cast um pocket and I was actually using instant paper at the time although I don't anymore I do use pocket now 
and looking at that and being like, how can I make this more like unread? How can I make the line heights bigger and the fonts bigger and stuff? And that might be also, I'm getting a little closer to 40. Maybe we just need, you know, more, more text to see. Um, so anyway, that is unread. Those are some of the things I love about it. And the things I don't love about it. If you have another RSS reader, I'd love to hear about it. Really unread and reader are the two that I am, have most worked with. They are okay. I mean, they're unread is great for the reading. It's great for the sharing parts. I'd love to see some keyboard commands in there. Um, reader is great for management. Uh, it's got keyboard commands, but I just don't love the reading experience on it. So if you have other options, I'd love to hear them.